Mythology wants Carpathus to be the home of the Titans. First resident was the Titan Drepeto, son Uranus, which means sky, and Gaius, earth. The old residents of the island, as tradition says, stole the gods of Olympus and brought them to Carpathus. That's why they were named Arpathi, Carpathi, Carpathian. Mythology also wants the island, the place of hospitality for the giants, also children of Gaeas. The son of Neptune, Proteus, also lived in the Carpathian Sea. The goddess Athena was brought up here. Prometheus, the god thief, who stole the fire from Zeus so he can offer it to the people, also lived on the island. Literature's testimonies mention Minoan sovereignty on the island. Later on it was colonized by the Argeus. Homer called the island Krapatho. The Dorians brought great prosperity to the island. It was at this time that had four cities of importance. This is why during this period the Dorians called Carpathos Tetrapolis, meaning four cities. These cities were the following Potidon or Poseidon, Arcasia, Vrucus, and Nisiros. The last is a small rocky island north of Carpathos, which is now called Saria. Carpathos had the same fate as the rest of the Dodecanese islands, accepting successive conquerors. During the Middle Ages, the island was renamed Scarpantos. From the mid of the 16th century, the island was conquered by the pirate Barbar Rosa. He later handed Carpathos over to the Turks. The last didn't live on the island, but only collected taxes. They kept the island under their rule for almost four centuries. It is the time of the revolt in 1821 that Carpathos raised the Greek flag. Lastly, in 1912, they were taken over by the Italian. This is where many Carpathians fled to so they can get involved in building enterprises. This was followed by a wave towards America. Many Carpathians left to go to Canada, Australia and Rhodesia. Fewer had Europe as a destination. As far as away as they had gone through, they had Carpathos deeply rooted in their heart. They never abandoned the island, however far away as they were, and they always developed big action. During World War II, the island was taken over by German army which joined forces with the Italians. The German troops withdrew on October 4, 1944. One day later, the Carpathians began first, in all of the Dodecanese islands, the revolution against their conquerors. 